Hi everyone, a huge shout to Rabbi David Lavan. He's a Magid Shir here in uh, Derech program in Yeshiva Tor and also of Base Israel. He's a uh, Mashkiach over there to get, to share with some chizuk for Am Yisrael. Shalom Aleichem everybody. A uh, quick vort, a uh, gift of our Torah, word of Torah before Pesach, coming up, preparation for Pesach. Uh, word of Torah from, based on what, from one of my Rebbe, from my Rebbe of Brazil. And uh, basically it uh, goes like this. Why do we have all this action on Pesach? And how can we have an answer to that from the first hole-in-one in history? The first hole-in-one in history happened when Esav is the brother of Yaakov Avinu, right? Esav, when he went to stop uh, Yaakov Avinu from being buried, uh, you know, one of uh, Yaakov, Avinu, Yaakov Avinu's grandchildren hit his head off. He didn't have hearing, so he went up with a club and knocked his head straight off, and it went rolling into the Maras Machpelah, the cave in which all of our forefathers are buried in. And the question is always asked is, why was Esav's head why did it merit to be, you know, get a place in that cave to be buried with all the forefathers? What was so special about his head? And this answer will actually tell us of how to be, um, serve Hashem in its, in its entirety and also in specific how to approach Pesach. Uh, the idea is, is that Esav and Yaakov Avinu from their start, from the birth, were always fighting over, what, as Rashi puts it, uh, of two worlds. But uh, the, really the, vo- the, the, the idea is, is that they weren't fighting over two different worlds, they were fighting over both of the two worlds, right? Because it's a good question. Esav is a, a very physical, worldly man. Let him get this world. Yaakov Avinu is a very, uh, you know, spiritual man. Let him get the next world. The easy division. Why do you have to fight over them? The answer is because is they both wanted both worlds. It's just that Esav had a disagreement with Yaakov. Whereas Esav thought that to get to the next world, you don't need to do anything with this world. This world is just here, use and enjoy. Whereas Yaakov Avinu thought the otherwise, no, that you need to use this world in order to get to the next world. And how is that? That's through actions. Ace have said it doesn't matter what you do here in this world. It's a completely pointless place. It's just be a good guy, believe in your head. As long as you got the right ideas, got the right concepts, then you're going to get heaven and all that stuff forever. You don't actually need to do anything. That's why he was able to murder and pillage and all that stuff. Yaakov Avinu said, no, it matters not only what you have in your head, but take what you have in your head and infuse it into your body and in your everyday actions and speech and everything else, which is why our tefillin actually starts from the Rosh and comes down with straps into the body as if to show we come into the body and bring it into everyday life. Pesach's coming, we got tons of mitzvahs where we do a lot. Why do we need to do it? Why not just sit around and just think about Hashem and think about faith in God and all that stuff? The answer is because it's all about actions. That's where we are created, we are built, and we build our next world based on the actions in which we do in this world. So doing the Bedikas Chametz, checking for Chametz, that makes you a different person. Sitting at the Pesach Seder, leaning at a Pesach Seder, drinking the late, drinking the cups of wine, eating the matzah, talking about the Sipur Yitzhiya Mitzrayim, the story of leaving Egypt, and everything else that we do year-round of all the mitzvahs, that's what makes us who we are, and that's what builds our Olam Hab in the next world. And it's that fact is what makes us, and that's what Yiddishkeit, Judaism, Avodah Hashem, Serving Hashem is all about. It's a great way to start our year, basically a year of holidays from Pesach. Start with inculcating ourselves with everything is about actions. So it doesn't not matter. It actually completely matters. It's what it's all about. So Bez Hashem, we should uh, do good, act good, be good, and Bez Hashem, we will uh, reap the benefits. And uh, after on May Hashem, and we zochet to see Mashiach coming in our soon, and end all of the bad tidings and news we've heard recently. And Bez Hashem will hear good things and have peace amongst Klal Yisrael and the world. Amen. Let's talk of a good Pesach. Amen.